Oh no! Hi all, this is Razor Flamecoon, and welcome to my let's play of the Game Boy Advance game, Metroid Zero Mission. So we're gonna go ahead and press start. This is probably my fa well, um, most favorite, second second most favorite Metroid game after. Um, Metroid Prime. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, and we are gonna go ahead and start the game. I know I'm. I know that. I, I just. I know that I should play on normal, but I just really want to get this. Um, get through this. Uh, not not that I wa need to get through this, but I'm not the kind of person that actually likes too much of a challenge. And some of the later parts in this game are actually really um tricky. So I'm just gonna go easy. Sorry if that offended people, going easy, but we're, now we're going to get into the game. Samus' ship um, flies down, and now when you uh, get this little dialogue, Planet Zebus, I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunt, uh, haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission, Samus Aran. This is a remake of the original Metroid with some added features. And we get that epic close-up of Samus, and now we start the game. The controls of this game, left and right on the control uh, on the D-pad to move. A to jump, B to fire, down to crouch, and you'll notice that we start getting enemies right away. So, I'd recommend you get some practice in. I'm going to tell you guys right now that I'm going to be doing sequence breaking during this run and I'm going to be doing um, getting the items out of order um, as well as skipping uh, some of the little uh, little expansions you get uh, or missing them and getting them later and I'm going to point out uh, as we're playing the items that we're going to be the, uh, where the locations of the items that we are going to be getting er um, early are so, but for right now, let's get this game on the road. Right here, we move to the left, shoot this guy if he's there, and then jump up these three platforms to the left, then jump up onto this little ledge here and jump to the left to get your first item, which is the Morph Ball. Which is, ironically, I think, one of the most important items in the game, in my opinion. So, we go ahead and press A, and we get the Morph Ball, which I will explain right now. Press down once and down twice, and you go into Morph Ball mode. So, jump to the right, Go into morphal mode and get out of it, and that's how you get out of here. For right now, we need to go ahead, go over here to the right, and there are different colored doors in this game. There's regular, the blues, the red, the green, and the yellow, as well as white, but we'll get into all those later, except for the blue, which can be opened with any shot. Right here, this room we'll be coming back to later, and as you notice, there are some blocks that crumble when you shoot them. This is important to get many of the items in the game, so remember this. So, shoot the door on the right and go to the right. Here, we're going to jump down here, and now we get into these enemies, who are bats that will also explode when you get on contact. Anyways, I'm going to show, on the little screen to the on the upper right hand corner, you see that uh, uh, empty white circle. That means there's an item in this room. Well, I will show you where the item is. It's right there. To, uh, if you press the up on your D-pad, you can shoot upwards. And if you press up and left, up and right at the same time, you can shoot to the, to the left and to right. Also, same effect. Standing still is by holding the L button and pressing B at the same time. Anyways, we cannot get that energy tank yet. And yes, that's what it's called, but we will get it later. Anyways, go into morph ball mode here and get out of it. And then we run into our first chose a statue so what you want to do is jump onto his hands like I just did and he will and we're in the morph mode and he will show us where the first item that we need to get is which is actually an item you don't need in my opinion um, you can skip it and I will show you how however I'm not going to be skipping it I'm going to be getting it anyways jump up here go to the, go to the right and go to the right again to get to our first save station of the game I, I highly recommend you save um, at any, any, any time you can, because you never know what what will happen in this game, especially when we get on to start starting to face bosses in this game. Anyways, wait. Uh, when you finish saving, shoot the door 
to go out to the left and then start jumping on these platforms to the left and to the right, shooting the enemies in your way. I'm going to be pointing out a few items we're actually going that we're actually going to be getting a bit later. Right here is one of them. You can't see it right now, but there is... Actually, holy crap. I was really lucky to get in here. Anyways, that is the first missile tank we're going to be getting, or uh, one of the first missile tanks we're going to be getting early. Uh, but we can't do anything in here, so just go out. Just remember where the entrance to this little place is. So go out, out of there if you manage to get in there, which I highly doubt, because you have to do a really tricky and then go into more fall mode and then go press right stem. Anyways, we're going to continue to the left. That enemy dropped a small energy which was only restores five energy so we're gonna go to the left and then to the right shooting this enemy let's go over to the left again shooting this enemy and we find a new enemy and i fall almost all the way back to the ground well here's this new enemy again you cannot destroy it yet you'll be able to later on in this game and you'll be able to do something else to it later on in this game and anyways right here is where another of the items we're going to be getting early is see that suspicious looking uh, block over there yeah well that's how you get that item anyways we're going to go up here and i'm going to show you where you can shoot to actually skip the long beam just shoot down right here uh go down here and you can get down here and and yeah, you can get down here early, and I think I just screwed myself out of getting out of here. Yeah, I did. So, hold on a second. There we go. That is called a wall jump. To do it, you need to jump out a wall like so, and then as soon as you contact the wall, press it, press um, the left on the... Crap, I jumped back down here. Um, you press like that. You you have to press the um, opposite direction as well as a jump button. And crap, I fell down here again at the same time. And then you have to do it as soon as you touch the wall. It's hard to master, but it is possible to master. And crap, I'm going to have to get out of here again. There we go. Anyways, that's a speed speed run tactic that you can get. So just continue jumping up here, ign uh, ignoring the turtles, and shoot this door on the left. In here, avoid the bats, and crouch to shoot this these blocks here. Shoot these bats as well. And then go over to the left here, and we find our first instance of a Chosa statue carrying a glowing egg. To get the item inside, shoot the egg, and we get the long beam. This is the item that was the skippable item that I showed you how to skip earlier. Basically, it allows you to fire long distance shots, and it also tells you about shooting um, shooting um, diagonally with the left button, which I already showed you how. Anyways, you notice how far our beam goes now? Anyways, these guys can also restore your all of your weapons and all of your energy as well. And I believe if you leave the room and come back, he, his hand will be glowing again, like so. So you, it's a heal, healing point. So right now we want to get rid of these bats, and then right here, jump up here, crouch, and then shoot all of these blocks, morph, go into morph ball mode, and then jump up here, go into morph ball mode again, and then shoot these blocks here, which will crumble away. Shoot up to get rid of that block, and then shoot left, and up, and angle up at the same time to get rid of those bats. So, and then we're going to go one screen left, and we're going to jump up here, and I'm going to show you something neat. Over here is uh, our first instance of acid. Jump into it and you will um, gradually get damaged until you get a certain item in the game, which we will be showing later. Anyways, go over here, shoot this door to the left, and we will see this. This is a stone statue of two heads, which will play an important part in the game later on, and we also get really epic nasty music. Well, we'll be go into this later, but for now we can't do anything in this room. So return to the uh, right, jumping over the acid pits and jumping onto this platform, and then going over to the right. You want to go over here, jump onto this platform, jump up here, and morph in the morph ball here. Right here, you want to avoid, do not let this item, uh, this enemy touch you, because he'll damage you a whole ton. 
uh, in order to unlock the white locks in this game, the white doors in this game, you have to destroy all the enemies that they present you with. So right here, since I did that, we can shoot this door and go open, uh, go and open it. Now we find our second um, chosen statue, which shows us the location of the next item we need to get, which is holy crap! How the hell are we supposed to get all the way out there into the middle of nowhere? Well, follow along and I'll show you. So he will go ahead and heal us, and we're going to go out of morph ball mode, and we're going to go and shoot the store to the right. Here, fall down, avoiding the enemies, and continue falling down until I, until that point that I sh showed you um, on the map down here about skipping, you know, skipping the uh, long beam altogether. Anyways, shoot this door to the right, and we will go into this room. Shoot this door to the right again, and we will be encounter a new door hatch. This hatch cannot be opened by our power beam, but we will be getting something very soon that can. This thing that's on us right now is called a bug. Um, when you get too many of them on you at once, they will start to um, damage you until you get a certain item in the game. Then they will not damage you, and that will play a certain role in this game. Anyways, I'll go over to the room to the right to get another save station. From here, Go out to the left, and then go down here, avoiding the enemies along the way. And do not touch this red one, because it's a stronger version of the slower yellow ones. So just go down here, and right here is where we will also be getting another item early, but not until much later in the game. Right here, just shoot this door to the right, and oh my god, the earth is shaking. Anyways, just run past it. Uh, avo avoiding the flying enemies and the acid and jump up here and then jump right here to get our first missile tank of the game which gives us access to missiles. To fire missiles you pre uh, press and hold the R button and then shoot them with B. And it opens the red hatches like I explained earlier. Anyways, I'm just going to go over here to show you that you can't go any further so we have to go back. But what was all that earth shaking about? Well, we'll be finding out right about... Now! Ooh, I called it. This is an enemy. What you need to do is you need to shoot its eye three times, and this enemy you will run if you do not destroy it too quickly. Or if you do not destroy it quickly, like that. If you do not destroy it your first time, do not worry. You will be able to find it a second time. But when you destroy it, you will get the Charge Beam, a staple of the Metroid series, which allows you to press and hold the A button, or the B button, to charge an attack. To charge your laser. And then you can shoot it for a charge shot, which is more powerful. Anyways, go back to the left here, and then we're going to be going back up here. And I'm going to check the map really quick. Um... Yep, um, and what we need to do now is go over here and shoot, and we're going to shoot this door here. And we are going to go ahead and save again. And then we're going to go up to where that red hatch was. So we roll under here, pick up a bug which isn't threatening, go over here, press R, press, uh, press hold R, B, to sh and shoot a missile to open this door. Anyways, we're going to go through here. And it, avoid these bats because the bats will damage you and also avoid the acid. Uh, jump over the acid and shoot this door to the right. And this room will also play, in, um, will also, will also be returning here to get uh, something later on as well. In this room, we will get our first, our first actual collectible game. Jump up to that platform here and then jump up to the left here to come over here, right here. Shoot, um, shoot from this ridge here and then shoot until that thing to the left that that's producing the bats gets destroyed like that and we find our second missile tank of the game so go back to the right and jump onto this platform and shoot this from a distance to go ahead and destroy it now jump over to this platform and then this one and then do the same thing right here don't get too close otherwise the bats will come over and knock you off and you'll have to jump back up here Anyways, we go all, all the way over here, and we jump down here, shoot this door, and we get into this room, which we'll also be returning to later on. In here, shoot the bottom two, and we get our third missile tank. And this is the, also the room where, if you did not destroy that enemy, the big giant worm the first time, it would be here. But since I destroyed it the first time, it, it isn't here. 
So right here is another item called an energy tank. 